Today's event is CGFX. It's um, a large event that we run every year. This is now our third year of running the event. Um, and as we can see from downstairs and the students walking around, there's quite a buzz um, about it. This year we've had to introduce a separate pathway. So we actually have not just CGI and VFX, but also it's grown this year to include games. And we're really excited to have some fantastic industry speakers in. It's a fantastic opportunity to show how we work with industry partners um, and to kind of maybe get a good understanding about pipelines, the role that they might go and do when they leave us here and how they will embed in that pipeline to make sure that their work is the best it can possibly be and that they get that career opportunity or break. And at the moment, we're such a big growth sector in the UK uh, for this, it's a wonderful place to kind of put these people together so they can meet and they can learn about some of the exciting things that are available to them when they leave. The amount of software that would be good to sort of dabble in at uni. Like I became quite like uh, specialised in just drawing, and uh, which was a great skill to have, but it'd be really nice to just say I, I can do all these things before I get out of uni. Even if it's to uh, a little level, doesn't, you don't, don't have to be expert in a software. I would advise to be highly specialised into something except if you want to start your business. You need a lot of motivation and if you don't have the urge to wanting to do like art say for example every day then it's probably not for you like you'll want to wake up and actually want to do this even if you have a job you'll want to get home and still be doing art in your spare time. You don't need to know everything. I think students often want to say oh yeah I know the answer to that to, to appear like they they should be there, but actually uh, uh, saying that you don't know something is a learning opportunity. You learn so much when you get into the industry that you almost have your brain filled and I wish I had a warning before that. Don't lack any confidence, like don't be scared off by it. It can be quite a daunting thing looking at it, um, especially huge games companies, you know, don't ever think that it's unattainable because I used to think that way and I surprised myself. So I'm a perfect example of that. Everyone you meet and everything that you know and learn comes in useful. So although you think what you're doing now might not be relevant later. Um, everything is at some point. You need to want to learn all the time. Things will change all the time. <laughs> so you need to adapt. To be able to take criticism, well, again, like you're going to get into the industry and you know people are going to have to give you feedback on your work and you can't just tell them no so you have to kind of have a thick skin for it. Communication. Uh, we work in an industry that is built around communication and teamwork and it becomes really apparent uh, in the industry if you can't converse with people or talk through an opinion or even have a difficult conversation with someone in a professional and calm manner. It's actually really important. Keep up to date with like websites like ArtStation, see what industry artists are doing on there um, and have a look at their processes and what's new. Um, keeping up to date with like software, they're always changing so being on top of that is super good. Pay close attention to all the other areas related to your jobs and how they they evolve and, and um, yeah, just keep on learning and being just love what you do really. Get work experience. When you've done these networking events and you've made those contacts, get in touch with them. Go and shadow them for a day. Take a, If you can get like a couple of days or a week in your school holidays or your college or uni holidays, just go and spend some time with these companies. If you can't get experience, like hands-on experience, do it yourself. Like start start working after school, after your job and start learning little bits and trying things out and, and really building up your knowledge. Possibly my favourite one was sitting in on um, the Framestore's Creature FX uh, talk, which was absolutely just incredible to watch the characters and actually watch the various breakdown reels and the different previs and how all of that is used. Um, and Marion did a fantastic talk about explaining how they, they use and step through the process. I attended all of the events today because I wanted to get as much information as possible. Um, I think the most I learned from was the uh, Rockstar talk, lots of like portfolio tips and things. I've actually really enjoyed just uh, speaking to everyone, giving the presentation. Um, I'm pretty sure there's like a lot of people that 
came in not really knowing what goes on and what it takes to get a job and that's stuff from personal experience that I wish I had back then. The talkers were brilliant, uh, the, the vast array of talkers you've had uh, all gave such an interesting insight into the industry and so different but also uh, it, kind of in the same way uh, that we've all got the same experience but uh, it, we've got there in a different different way.